Hey, how's everybody doing today? Anyways, happy Thanksgiving. Yes, it's Thanksgiving and I'm gonna do a short video because I had mentioned the other day in one of my videos something about static electricity and I've been noticing this time of the year, it's really bad. So I was talking to one of the electricians, he's actually a master electrician at my workshop and he told me that every time you get static electricity and say you touch your SIM pit or your, or your joystick, whatever it may be, and you get one of them little zaps and it blinks on and off for a second. You may think it's all right, but he said that even though it comes back on in a year, that could turn around and that could like slowly corrupt some of your components. Some of the little capacitors inside of there or solid state pieces. He says, and eventually you could lose some of your hardware. And whether you have a really involved SIM pit or something basic it doesn't matter because all of this equipment it's expensive even the lower end stuff you know beginner joysticks and stuff like that and you don't want to end up breaking any of that stuff so he mentioned to me what i should do and i did i grabbed a couple rolls of these and what it is is let me show you basically one end is where you connect it to your sim rig or even your I would say you could put it to your desk as long as it's all connected whatever I'm going to I'm going to ground I'm going to ground both of them so one end goes there I'm going to have to tap a hole out on this side and the other end plugs into your wall ground outlet I'm going to clean this stuff up get it ready to install I'm going to keep this as a short video but I'm just doing this as you know hopefully if you're having this problem, you can pick these up on Amazon. They're only, um, I think it's $12 for a pack of two, which isn't bad. They have different ones. They have some that are coiled up. They stretch out. They're more like the telephone cords and stuff, but basically they're all the same thing. And I'm going to give it a shot and hopefully get rid of it because almost every time I walk from my carpet, even though everything's up on plastic legs, when I'm on my rug and I walk over to the sim pit, if I touch it, I've been getting a lot of them little zaps and a couple of times the monitors went out. All of my hardware shut down for like a millisecond and turned back on, which wasn't cool at all. I was like, nah, I don't like this because one of these days it's not going to turn back on and I'm going to have an issue and this stuff is going to be out of warranty and I'm going to be screwed. On that note, I'm going to strip this down, get it ready and show you how I'm going to install it and what I did to get it there. And hopefully something here helps somebody out. Okay, so here we are. Well, that only took like five minutes. So as you can see, one end, one end was blocked. It was covered with the, uh, the rubber cover, the, the grommet that protected the uh, metal insert. So I just took a Dremel. Buzzed out the hole and then tapped another hole right through the center. I'm going to grab a self threading or self tapping screw and I'm just going to put somewhere on the lower part of the frame, out of sight, out of mind. I'm going to uh, tap a little hole. I don't like drilling into it unless I can find something else. But before I do that, I'm probably going to use the Dremel to clean off a little bit of the paint so it gets a good connection because you don't want to rely just on the threads alone. Probably almost 99.9% .9 it's going to get a connection, but it's always better to get as much of that surface on this part. You want to get the best ground possible. And when you do this, you don't want to stick it in a ground hole on a surge protector unless you know 100 percent for sure the surge protector has a ground connector on it that goes into the wall sometimes they don't a lot of these new ones because they're surge protectors and they have breakers in them they don't bother with the ground if it surges it's going to break there they don't they don't have to worry about it too much that's rare but it's possible so you always want to make sure you have that third lower pole where you can insert that into the wall. So I'm definitely gonna go directly in to the wall where I have my surge protectors. The, one, the ones that I have, are, they're bolted to the lower part of my wall. They're the, the small, long black ones, and they have 12 plugs in them. And every one of them I know has a ground, and I know I grounded it to connect it in the house. So I wanna be guaranteed, and I'm gonna see how this works. So 
I'm gonna get that cleaned up now that you've seen how I did this real quick, real easy. For, I bought two of them for $12, and if it's gonna save me from ever having to get any more of them little zaps, it's gonna be worth every cent because I definitely don't wanna ruin any of this stuff. I mean, every one of you that have bought something, you know as well as I do just how expensive this stuff can be. And the more you get into it, the more expensive it becomes. So you wanna take care of your equipment and keep it in the best shape as possible and get this wrapped up and I'll let you know how that all works out. So everybody, I'll be back with the little wrap up of this video. Okay, well, here we are, finished product. <laughs> hey, it probably took me 15 minutes for a little peace of mind. I'm hoping this really does help someone out. If you're getting this problem, be aware that you may not spoil your equipment on your first little zap but there's a good chance that it will happen six months, a year later, and it's just not worth losing the money over it. So anyways, what I did is I took a cable protector. I put a little bit of double-sided tape on it, so if I step on it, if I go on this side of my sim pit, I won't trip over and, and, and rip the cable out. So basically, you can see, I just ground out and cleaned up a little bit of the metal on that corner tapped a little hole. I did use a washer so I could get some little extra, a solid a steel washer with no paint, not a black washer, a metal washer. Put that on, self-tapping screw, put it right through. That's just personal preference is putting a little cable connector on there. Ran it through that. And you can see the little white plug into a ground outlet. I actually ended up pulling the whole cable set up for the, uh, the surge protector. It has both built into it. And I checked the line all the way down into the wall just to double check and make sure it all had the ground cable connected the correct way, and it did. So I'm pretty happy now with that. I'm gonna add a second one to my desk, even though it's still all connected one way or another. It won't hurt to ground it out in two spots. I'm just being overly cautious. So. If you liked the video, as I always say, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs up anyways. It only takes a second. If you're new to the channel, I'd be really happy if you subscribed. Awesome thing to be helping me out, helping the channel out. On that note, everybody have a great holiday. Hope you enjoy. Don't eat too much. Don't drink too much. And if you do drink, don't drive. Stay safe. Peace out.